Hi. So today, um, tomorrow I'll do an actual like gameplay. Well, I, I am doing gameplay, but like tomorrow I'll do an actual like playing the game. Well, I am, but like I'll show like um this um an actual like um playing ops mode. I'm just showing um uh, some hiding spots um for you guys just for little tips. So. As you guys know, as as I see in these videos, um, as as you guys see in these videos, if you do taunts on these, there's this gnome cave. It will um open up like two after I do taunts on all of these. Let me do them on all. And as this, you can be either a Snapdragon, a Captain Deadbeard, or Super Brains with Brainy Basher, or just a Super Brains, but. Um, or any other characters I'm forgetting, like Colonel Corn, with, like, those high-jumping abilities. Pea Shooter, like, there's a lot, but, um, hold on, let me just, um, do all of these, and then I'll just tell you guys, um, the hiding spot. So, basically, yeah, after we do it on all of these, um... And go to the gnome cave. Hold on. <laughs> this ability can make you do shortcuts, but... <laughs> um... Oh, <laughs> I, I was not standing on it. Ah! Anyways. Um, yeah. And this is gnomes judge you worthy. And you have to go to the gnome cave and say gnomes. And if you're wondering, like, why do you need the high jump ability as these characters? Basically, um... A lot of the times when I enter servers, like, public ones, people are just fighting, um, and, like, guarding this, this area from letting people get in and do the puzzle. So, um, basically, um, if you want to keep this door open and confuse them, like, crazy, <laughs> um, um, you can hide up here, and that's why I use the high jump ability, uh, but you can get stuck in here, that's the big problem, unless you can use the ability again, so basically, yeah, if you get stuck in this corner, but, um, you can get out if your ability gets back, so hold on, um, yeah, and then, like, basically, if you're not, uh, oh, yeah, so the door will close, but you can just say gnomes again, but basically you can hide up here, and then the door will be open, and everybody's going to be so confused how's it open. And if you don't have, like, a very colorful skin, like mine, um, then yeah, it would be good um, for this. And this other tip, um, um, another tip, it's either for... Cactus or Captain Deadbeard because of the drone thing. And it's the same thing with that gnome cave. Um, um, what the? <sighs> I hate when this glitches. But anyways. And yeah, ignore my weird skins. I did the crystal snapdragon and now this, like, Egyptian cactus. But, eh, anyways. Hold on. Um, I need to do shorter emotes. <laughs> on this, but anyways, if we, we just need to trigger all these, because there's this way you can just lock up the thing, so, like, only, so, like, they have to trigger all these, if you're in a public server, it's gonna be hard for them to trigger all of them, but basically, yeah, like, um, you can just trigger all these, and, like, um, and, ooh, gold target. <laughs> um, I don't know. But anyways. Um. And then this last one over here. Basically, yeah, we just jump over and, like, um. And, like, yeah, we just trigger this over here. And no one is judging worthy. And eventually, then you just, yeah, just get up here. Um, and like, 
Yeah, and then once you say gnomes, basically, what happens next? After the door opens for you, and, like, you're in here, basically, actually, this is done with every, any character, or, or never mind, actually. So, either if you're in this corner, or you use the cacti's drone, so, let's first show this corner. You have to, like, jump a few times in this corner, and once you jump a few times, the door closes, and basically you can keep people locked out, and then they have to trigger all of those, which will be a pain to trigger all, and then they just have to get through here. But the other way to show you guys, and you can say gnomes from in here and open the door. So, yeah, that's one way. And the other way to lock it, just in case you want to shoot other people and stuff, um, just summon your drone. This is either with Captain Deadbeard or Cactus. And if you walk out, um, of the drone, eventually the door closes. So, if we just wait here, and, yeah. And then basically you could go out just shooting people from here. And then there's gonna be, like, where's this drone's controller? Like, Cacti, where is he? And, yeah, and then they're just gonna have to... Do that, and you can just keep setting out drones. You quickly say drones. Oh, you just quickly say gnomes, and then you send out a drone. And yeah, you can just do it constantly and absolutely troll people. And that was another tip. And yeah, this video, it's not going to be long, but here's the last tip. Uh, it's kind of a weird one, but um, you can't... Um, obviously, there's no zombies in the plant space, but this weird thing is... Basically, just don't move at all, and spam all four of your potato mines. And after you do that, so for a second, you could obviously see the lights and, like, them blinking so fast. But eventually, if you, like, look away and come back after a while, um, it'll basically... And, like, the funny thing is the menu for it, like, showing where my mine is, like... Um, like, literally, it looks like a normal one, but, yeah, and then, that looks, that looks like a normal potato mine, and then, like, people, it's like when they don't notice it, and, like, if they're a very strong zombie that can't be killed with one potato mine, if they just walk over this, then boom, they die to four potato mines, exploding them, it's like an absolute nuke, but, those were all the tips. It, yeah, this video was a log, but I'll do ops gameplay in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, like this video. Goodbye.